this uh, Space Tool 4-in-1 multi-kit from Vector Labs, Vector-Labs. And uh, so it's um, time to try to install it. It's a little bit more than your average multi-kit to install, but it's not too hard. I think everyone can do it if they just do it step by step. So here we go. The first step is to remove this is my uh, Gravatar board. So basically this kit uses as you can see it's upside down uses space dual board right here and then a Gravatar or a Black Widow board on the top. Let me get a better look at this here. There we go. So, so it's from Vector Labs. So the space tool goes on the bottom and the Gravatar goes on top. And then you replace the ROMs and stuff with this and the CPU for the, uh, the Gravatar goes here. And then, uh, I believe these are probably the ROMs that it replaces. That's my guess. Yep. So the CPU bore uh, chip, which I believe is this one, we'll replace that. And then it says a set of four ROMs in the instructions. That's probably these ones up here. Sorry, I wasn't. So this one, this one, those, those ones there. So that's my Gravatar board and we are going to be putting that in with the Space Dual board over here. So there we go. I need more light. That's better light. So that's my Gravatar board. I mean Space Dual board. And I tested it all and unplugged it before I, I'm going to start modifying it, putting that other board in. So, let's get to work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the CPU chip. And it's located in uh, C2. And then the ROMs I'm going to be replacing are these ones over here. So we got C49. C48, C47, so one, two, three, four. And it says right here, ROM, come on, make a little clearer. VROM, VROM1, VROM2, VROM3. This one doesn't say VROM anything, it just says VROM. So, those are the four ROMs we're going to replace. So just going to move these out. And the best way to, I found to remove them is just pry them slowly with a screwdriver. So that's what I'm going to do on all these. And I'll see you back when I do that. I, okay, so I, I removed the CPU and I labeled it so I can, you know, remember where it's at and all that stuff. So I put it back in the Vector Labs board that they put on there and I stuck that in in the old socket. I removed all the Vector ROMs, all four of these Vector ROMs here. And I will be replacing that with a board. And one more thing that I didn't mention is this one right here, this EEPROM. I have to remove this. It's located in C8. And I'm going to replace that with this board here. So, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to put the vector ROM board here. And the EEPROM here. Okay. Done with the first step, so CPU chip in there. 
We got the E R twenty fifty five there. And we got the vector ROMs all right here. Now note that we got vector ROM three here, three, two here, one here. So make sure it's all in the right spot. On this, make sure you plug this in right. You look at the the chip layout, you'll see the notch on the top here. And when you look at underneath, you'll see the notch underneath there where you're plugging it in. And the same here for the CPU chip. Here's your plug and it has a notch on the top, notch on top right there. So that's how you plug all those in. And okay, so the next step to is next to step. insert the cable, ribbon cable that comes with the kit. And basically you just take it from one board to the next. And eventually I believe this is just going to plug into this board, right? Where is it? There it is. So note on how to plug these in. You have a red side of the cable. Come on, focus a little better. There you go. You have a red side of the cable. And on the red side of the cable will be or of the, of the connector will be a 1. Red. And if you look, at there's a 1. And then here, red. And there's a 1 on this side of the red. So that's how you connect that. And when you plug these in, make sure that you reseat these boards too because when you push on this one, you'll know that it, it can push down the board. So make sure that it's seated in there properly when you're done. There we go. Cable. Okay, so the next step is to pull out the packet that had this stuff in it. We're going to take the spacers and we're going to put them on okay. the spacer so, board. The places to install these two are there and there. So basically on the other side of the board from your pins. Okay. So I'm going to install those, and um, these are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so the nut goes on the back side, so you just pull that off, plug that into the hole, and put the nut on the back side of it, and let it lock in. That's it. So, and then you want to move the screw, the other locking washer off and this will uh, seat the gravitar board over top so there we go once I'm done I'll have both of those on there and then we'll okay, so next step the gravitar insert this board into the gravitar or space tool board. It's basically you pull out these and you put it in the bottom one. Make sure you're putting in the right one. It says space tool. So I'll put that in and uh, show you when we're done. And then we'll put the gravitar board in over top and plug in the ribbon wire to the. Okay, so I found it easier to put the gravitar board in first. And then you put the ribbon cable in the same, same way you did all the other ones, the red side on the one. And you can see that if you, if this will focus good. There it is, the one. And then I just took that whole unit with this and the Gravitar board, right, um, right over here. And I, then I put... <sighs> And I put the sock, the pins on the space tool board behind it. And then I uh, put the screws in on that. And there we go. Now the next, last step is to put these on. And just like that. Just like 
Oop, I am not even focusing. There we go. So we'll put these on. And I'm going to make sure that these are on the right way before I turn on the <laughs> machine. But I'm assuming that's the correct way. So there we go. These fuses here, if anything was wrong with these other boards, these will blow. So we got to be very careful that we had everything working before we do it. And I tested both boards and it was a big fine. test. So when I turn it on, these uh, LEDs should light up. Boink. Come on. Focus. There you go. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And we got one, two, three, four LEDs. Yay. That's good. Now I'll go around to the front of the game and see what we got. And my space tool is working. So when I turned it on, I got this, my space tool. And uh, basically, to switch the games, you hold the select down. Hold your select game down, and then your start button. And you'll hear the beep, and it goes to your next game, which in this case is Gravatar. Okay. And then we'll go to the next one which is Lunar Battle, which is another uh, version of Gravatar, which is going to be very fun. Never played it before. Yeah, very cool. Watch this. So, it's almost like another version of Gravatar. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then there's Black Widow, which Black Widow requires two joysticks, and I may install those later. So, successful install. Love it. So, my curiosity is, how does Gravatar work? Oh yeah. Yes. All the all the controls work. Nice. Okay. Well, 